Okay, if you were looking out in the sky last night, you may have seen nothing because the moon was black, the sky was black, and a black moon only takes place once every two and a half years. Yeah, well, we've all heard stories about how the moon can affect your mood. Uh, so what can this one do? Well, to shine a light on that, let's talk to Yasmin Bolland. Yasmin is a, an author and a, a moonologist, not astrologist. Is that right, Yasmin? Well, I'm actually an astrologer yeah. and a moonologer. I'm both. Okay. Well, Yasmin, for anyone, I mean, most of us would have been asleep because this was just around half past two in the morning uh, or whatever. Um, how significant was last night's black moon? Okay, so as an astrologer and a moonologer, the fact that it was a black moon isn't as important as the fact that it was a new moon. And it was a new moon in the sign of Leo, which means something different for everybody. But I think... You know, as we're coming out of this really strange pandemic time, it's actually a really important moon for people who need to get their confidence back in themselves, who need to just sort of start to shine again, because obviously it's been a really dark time for a lot of people. And, and I think that's really the significance of the new moon last night. If some people were feeling a bit strange, could they attribute that to the moon? What, what effect could the moon be having on us? Okay, so absolutely. Oh, we suddenly gone. We can still hear you. Absolutely, we can attribute it to that uh, for the simple reason that um, when we have the new moon, as we said, it disappears from the skies. And as humans, we're kind of programmed to see the moon. The moon is so important to us. If it wasn't for the moon, we this planet of ours, Earth, would spin out of orbit, okay? The, Earth, the moon keeps us in the right spot at the right time. And that's one of the reasons why people actually go just about as loony at new moon as mm. they do at full moon. Yeah, I do think people believe that they feel different with a new moon. How often then does a black moon happen, Yasmin? Is it, is it quite rare? Well, it is quite rare, um, this sort of black moon. It's actually about um, every 33 months. OK, so what should people be doing? You believe that this is a time to reset. Mm -hmm. So explain what you mean and, and how people could do that. Okay, so actually once a month we get this amazing opportunity with the new moon to kind of really recalibrate, to think about what we want in our lives, what we want to create for ourselves. I believe the earth is a school of manifestation and that if you start to get really systematic in your wishing and your commitments that you're making to yourself, you will start to change your life. And if I could say people successful people such as you guys, you understand this. You know that life is about making decisions. What do I want? What do I intend for myself? However, not everybody is born with that innate confidence. And once a month to come back and think, okay, where am I in my life? What do I want? You know, how do I get there? It's just a really, really powerful thing to do. And traditionally, you know, for hundreds and hundreds of years, People have done this at the time of the new moon. What yeah. we used to call witches would do this. Yeah. And we did it until they started burning us alive in the village square. <laughs> so so, so if, I'm, if I'm reading your diary correctly, your moonology diary, um, yes. you actually ask these questions not only off yourself, but you ask them to the moon. What grudges do I need to release? For instance, there'll be a lot of those. There'll be a lot of people. How long have you got? Oh. Can I find it in my heart to forgive... Uh, and then you put a person's name in there, probably not. Do I understand that <laughs> forgiveness is as much for my own good as anything else? See, that's something I don't believe in. I believe vengeance is a very lovely thing to have. A dish best served cold, as they said in Star Trek. Right. Well, it's interesting, actually, because I had a conversation about this with some strangers on, on Facebook yesterday, and some people were saying you shouldn't forgive you know, because that's just not right. Some things are unforgivable. But the point is, you know, it was, it's a, a quote attributed to Buddha that holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. That's good. I like that. That's I can see the good sense good. in that. But, but Yasmin, you're saying there's a, there's a system that you believe works, which is to, to begin with, take a moment to be grateful for what you have in your life and then to actually write down your, your intentions, the things that you would like, and say them out loud. Yes. And, and you know, 
You may not be aware of it, but literally hundreds of thousands of people around the world do this every month. Yeah, do you see, it's, it's interesting talking to you, Yasmin, because not only from a scientific point of view, but also from a spiritual point of view there, that I suppose we have to realise the influence, you talked about the influence the moon has on the earth, mm -hmm. but the influence that the moon, you believe, has on us every, every four weeks. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you know, Eamon, not to insist too much, but I've been doing this for 20 years. It's honestly not a belief. I mean, I have endless amounts of proof in my own life and in the life of my family, in the life of friends that I've helped, and also all the people who've read all my books or follow me on, you know, social media or whatever. It literally works. Like, that's why I'm so excited to be here today because I would really like everybody who's watching to know you're all way more powerful than you know, and it's literally a matter of starting to sit down and think, what do I want to create in my life? It's such a powerful thing. Well, you know what? Yeah. I think um, this is a time for reinvention. I think you're right, and I think people have time on their hands to think about well, who they are and where they're going. Haven't they? Reevaluating their lives when they're making, seeing what's the priority. Well, might be different. Yasmin, so tonight, it was, it was last night, this black moon. So if I get up at half two in the morning, this morning, or whatever, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, yeah. Will I see anything? Not yet, not for a day or two. But even though the new moon took place at about 3.30 in the morning, gone, now is the perfect time to make a wish. Oh, Okay. Well, that's a good one. I'll not tell you what it is. <laughs> I'll put it in your diary, okay? Your Munology diary. Yasmin, yes. it's, it's been delightful talking to you. Thank you very much. And I think you've got a lot of us thinking and, and rethinking. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Oh, Thank lovely. you very much. You see that lady, she touched her chest. She said, my pleasure. I think that's somebody who really means that. The way most people we interviewed couldn't care less. <laughs> whether we interviewed them or not. But she cared. She cared that we spoke to her there. Didn't you, Yasmin? I did. I'm very honoured and thank you. Well, I'm well, touching my you. chest now. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely. That was nice.